This machine is keeping a once dead heart alive. This very technology used in a Canadian first, a heart donated after it stopped beating and then reanimated for the purpose of transplanting. But that heart won't go to a Canadian patient. In the United States, most programs have seen at least a 20 to 30 percent increase in the number of transplants they're doing by incorporating these DCD heart transplants. DCD, or donated after circulatory death, are hearts that have stopped beating that are then saved. But right now, that's not possible in Canada. Doctors can only transplant hearts that were still beating from a brain-dead donor. Surgeons have been trying for years, pushing to get the equipment and the specialized training needed to reanimate, which ultimately would save more lives. We did 43 transplants last year. So we would anticipate that incorporating the DCD procurement technique would expand our transplant program well over 50 and approaching 60 hearts a year. Just a special man yeah. with an infectious smile. Everybody liked him. Lorraine and Dirk Sharon lost their adult son, Robbie, earlier this month. A bowler who won Special Olympics medals, Robbie's strong heart didn't qualify for transplant in Canada. I have a hard time talking about this because it was just so emotional. But the family pushed and with a team of doctors, including from the U.S., working around the clock, became the first in this country to have a heart reanimated for transplant and sent to the States, giving Canadians a preview of a process that could soon take place in this country. We were able, able to turn a horribly tragic situation into something amazing that's going to be like a, a, a legacy that will live on. Someone down in the States and now has a new heart and, and is, living is living because, because of, of my son. So Anna, and the big question for Canadians now is how soon will these transplants be here? We're told as even as early as this summer. I mean, the Ontario Ministry of Health told CBC News that uh, the pathways are now clear for doctors to get that specialized training. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, while 10 more transplants in Ontario might not sound like a lot, the latest numbers from Canadian Blood Services say that 118 Canadians need hearts right now. So now we may soon see this proven and safe technique used in the UK and the US come here. Really beneficial. Thanks so much, Anand. You're welcome.